The Henderson is a new skyscraper that's turned heads in Hong Kong. The building stands on the world's priciest plot of land and has some remarkable features. Imagine constructing a building in the middle of a typhoon or designing its unique facade that could only be made in Germany. It's built to counteract the negative chi from the nearby buildings, blending traditional beliefs with modern design. Feng Shui is a traditional Chinese practice that involves arranging the physical environment in a way that creates balance and harmony. This skyscraper pushes the boundaries of what's possible in construction technology, merging the old with the new in a truly unique way. Today at Ultimate Megabills, we take you behind the scenes of how the Henderson came to life. It's clear that without today's technology, the Henderson, a creation of Zaha Hadid architects, might not have existed. Or at least not without a huge cost and decades of work. This is largely thanks to the sophisticated computer software architects use today. Consider the glasswork on the Henderson. Each panel is uniquely shaped, with some bending in multiple directions. What's more, each panel is made up of four layers of glass, all needing to be perfectly identical. This precision in manufacturing showcases just how advanced and intricate modern construction techniques have become. Building the Henderson wasn't cheap. Back in 2017, the land alone grabbed global attention as the most expensive per square meter ever sold, costing about $965,000 for each square meter which summed up to roughly $3 billion for the entire site. And to think, at that time, it was just a parking lot. Hong Kong, known for its dense construction, doesn't have many open spots left, especially in the heart of the city. The site for the Henderson is relatively small, measuring about 50 by 60 meters. In such a tight space, every millimeter of land is crucial. The land lease required the inclusion of three footbridges crossing the site. These bridges linked the Henderson directly to Hong Kong's central elevated walkway, a vast network of pedestrian pathways that weave through the city high above the ground. Additionally, its location next to a garden and a large park places it in one of Hong Kong's most prominent spots. The Henderson's curvy organic form is a thoughtful nod to local culture inspired by the Hong Kong orchid seen in nearby gardens and depicted on the region's flag. There's a deeper reason behind its rounded shape. Henderson Land aimed to counteract the negative feng shui emanating from the adjacent Bank of China building, which has been criticized for its sharp edges and cross motifs, as these elements are considered unfavorable in feng shui. Moreover, the curvy design serves to soften the starkness of its architectural neighbors. Surrounded by iconic, rigid structures like the Bank of China, HSBC and the Lippo Center, the Henderson introduces a smooth, flowing silhouette without any harsh corners. This design strategy not only balances out the visual heaviness of these famous buildings, but also pleases onlookers and adds a unique charm to the skyline. The result is a facade that features 20% curved glass with more than 4,000 double laminated glass panels showcasing 1,000 different types of curvature. This extensive use of curves is quite rare in skyscraper design, where straight lines and angles typically dominate. Buildings typically have flat walls and rectangular rooms because curves are not only expensive to produce, but also incredibly difficult to design. Originally, the Henderson started with a somewhat curvy design, which only grew more complicated as the plans developed. Each time the design team adjusted the curve of the facade, it impacted the floor plate as well, especially given the building's compact size. This meant that even small changes in the width or radius of a panel could alter the building's total floor area significantly. This level of complexity in construction and design would have been nearly impossible without advanced CAD or computer-aided design software. It forced the team to bring in the best tools available. The Henderson really takes a page from the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, which was designed by Frank Gehry and opened back in 1997. That museum is a total standout in modern architecture and really shook things up with its bold, unconventional design. 
It's known for its curves and whimsical style, kind of throwing traditional design rules out the window. This approach really paved the way for the new creative architectural ideas, including those you see in the Henderson. It's all about bending the rules and having fun with shapes, which brings a whole new level of excitement to city skylines. Katia, the same software used for Frank Gehry's iconic works, including the Guggenheim, was selected for this project. Known for its precision, Katia allows architects to control and model designs with high accuracy, which was essential for the intricate curves and complex structures of the Henderson. The design process was rigorous. The team utilized Katia to model everything in 3D to foresee and adjust any potential issues before construction began. This preemptive approach ensured that all aspects of the design were perfected in the virtual space before being physically built. Interestingly, Katia wasn't initially created for architecture. It was developed for designing planes and cars where precision is critical. The surfaces of planes and automobiles require exact control, a feature that proved invaluable for managing the sophisticated geometries of the Henderson's facade. This precision ensured that each part of the skyscraper could be manufactured to exact specifications. Within Katia, architects have the capability to achieve extreme control over surfaces, ensuring that what is modeled in three dimensions can be precisely manufactured. This was important for producing the curvy glass required for the Henderson's facade. Only two companies in the world had the capability to create such intricate glass and a German supplier was selected for the task. The process involved sending detailed 3D models from the architects in Hong Kong to Germany. There, the glass was crafted to exact specifications and then shipped back to Hong Kong. Each panel was fully prefabricated in the factory to ensure they would fit perfectly once assembled on site. Anticipating the high demand for these uniquely curved glass panels, the glass manufacturer invested in digitally controlled heat-treating furnaces. These advanced furnaces allowed for the production of glass with very high precision, capable of achieving almost any curved shape. The glass also needed to be exceptionally strong. During the early stages of construction, a typhoon hit Hong Kong, underscoring the importance of durability. Although the glass had not yet been installed, the incident was a stark reminder of the severe weather conditions the building needed to withstand. Given Hong Kong's strict building regulations, particularly concerning high wind loads, choosing heat-treated glass was important. This type of glass is better suited to handle the extreme conditions, ensuring safety and stability throughout the skyscraper's life. The Henderson also features a few unique architectural elements that set it apart. Unlike a typical skyscraper with a central core housing elevators and staircases, the Henderson's core is offset, located in a corner of the building. This unusual positioning is more than just a stylistic choice. It supports a strategic design advantage. To compensate for the offset core and ensure the building's stability, the design includes six mega columns. These robust columns bear the weight of the skyscraper, allowing for an expansive open floor plan inside. This layout also offers sweeping, uninterrupted views of the Hong Kong skyline, enhancing the aesthetic and functional appeal of the building. Well, that's all we have for you today at Ultimate Mega Builds. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating World Mega Project videos. We'll be back soon.